Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 8th of July. Oh, it's the 8th of July. Yes, it is. <laughs> Terrible on the dates. You got me this morning, uh, Reverend Catherine Bland. It's lovely to be able to share reflection with you. And hopefully, uh, if you'd like to tune in later in the day from about six o'clock this evening, uh, we'll share our Jack and Ori uh, story time evening uh, reflection together as well. So uh, two things for you today. Tune in whenever, whenever you can. That'd be great. Uh, the theme for our reflections today are the kingdom of God. And we begin with uh, an opening prayer. Lord, thank you for the touch of your hand, waking us from sleep, helping us to start the day. Thank you for our frailty and needs, leading us to rely more on you than on our own independence. Lord, we offer you this day and invite you to share it with us. Touch this day with your hand and guide all our actions, our thoughts and our feelings. May we recognise each touch of your hand today. Give us the trust and the courage to respond when you invite us into action or into stillness. Amen. I'd like to share with you a few words that are based on a passage of scripture from the New Testament, from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18. And it's from the beginning of that uh, that chapter. The opening five verses of Matthew chapter 18, we actually find the disciples are having some kind of a, a squabble, if you like, and then they have approached Jesus to kind of settle their arguments, which is namely, which one of them is the most important? It begins with the question, who is most important in God's kingdom? the one who becomes as open and trusting as a child. Unless you change and become like a child, you will not be able to grow into God's kingdom. Whoever recognises their own frailty and needs will be most important in God's eyes. Those who realise and welcome their dependence welcome God's presence into their lives. Those who avoid their own frailty and emptiness will also miss God in their experience. Story time. Got my favourite stories today as well. Got my favourite story this evening as well. I've got lots of favourite stories. This one that I'd like to share with you uh, is You're Here for a Reason, and that's by Nancy Tillman. Now bear with me for a second because I'd like to be able to put the um, pictures on the screen. And I'm not very technical, so um, slideshow from the beginning. There we go. Wow. You're here for a reason by Nancy Tillman. You're here for a reason. You certainly are. The world would be different without you by far. If not for your hands and your eyes and your feet, the world, like a puzzle, would be incomplete. Even the smallest of things that you do blossom and multiply far beyond you. A kindness, for instance, may triple for days or set things in motion in different ways. It travels much further than you'll ever know, under the treetops, over the snow, till it's wandered and fluttered. and floated and twirled, making things happen all over the world. Life can be tricky, there isn't a doubt. You'll skin your knees trying to find out. But life works together, the good and the bad, the silly and awful and happy and sad. To paint a big picture we can't always see, a picture that needs you most definitely. Remember that next time a day feels like it goes all wrong. To somebody else, you will always be strong. And that ball that you lose or that kite you let go could make someone's day. You just never know. 
you're here for a reason. If you think you're not, I would just say that perhaps you forgot a piece of the world that is precious and dear would surely be missing if you weren't here. If not for your smile and your laugh and your heart, this place we call home would be minus apart. Thank goodness you're here. Thank goodness times two. I just can't imagine a world without you. Oh, that's my favourite story. Do you like that? Let's think again, having heard that story in the reflection about that passage of scripture again and what it means. Be like a child. I often think, oh, childish, I can do childish very easily. But can I be like a child? Think how a child thinks with that innocence, without any of the baggage that, that the stuff of life uh, can throw at us. And, and some of the stuff of life we're very good at making ourselves. Let me share with you these words. The basic characteristic of childhood is dependence, finding strength in others and relying upon it. As Christians, we are called to dependence, to a kind of vulnerability to others and to God. A vulnerability which is life-giving. Independence is not our natural state. We are made for one another. To search out the meaning of life and love together with other people. The image of the child reminds us that our frailty and dependence are vital signposts on the path to truth and life. I'm going to leave you with some thoughts for the day ahead. A few questions really, but perhaps as the day progresses, they might just jump in there and you might have a think or reflect on them. So first of all, who will I be happy to depend upon today? Where will I resent being dependent? Who will need to depend upon me today? And when will I find time to be like a child? Let's pray. We pray for the gift of recognising God's presence. Lord, help us to see you, feel you, smell you, touch you, taste you in the beauty of creation and in the mystery of each fragile human life. This world is holy because it is touched by your hand. Touch our lives this morning, this day, with your loving kindness so that we can share this day with others in prayer, in person, on the telephone, online, even in a text message. I hope you have a lovely day today, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm doing some, um, some phone calls and then we're going to the tip. That's really good. Um, we're carrying on packing some boxes for our move uh, in a few weeks' time. Some of the things that I know that I'll be doing today, but often there's lots of things that I do that I don't know that they're going to be there until they emerge. The beauty of living in God's kingdom. So I hope you have a lovely day. Uh, stay safe and remember those words of Jesus. Whoever welcomes anyone in my name welcomes me. I shall see you later. Stay safe. God bless.